In less than five months, the first O5 for B was launched at the end of August 2023, and the first C trial was completed on January 15, 2024. The construction progress is very fast. It can be clearly seen from the C trial chart that the deck is only painted with red anti rust primer. The anchor on the bow of the ship is hidden by a movable baffle, which increases the stealth. There is a 100mm naval gun which may be an improved version of the HPJ-87 single-barreled 55-time caliber 100mm naval gun. The HPJ-87 naval gun was used on the early Type 05 for frigates, Type 05 1C destroyers, Type 05 to be destroyers, and Type 05 to sea destroyers, and the number of equipment was only 12. It is said that this is because its failure rate is too high, and its air attack is not as fast and effective as the 76mm naval gun, and its sea attack is not as powerful as the 130mm naval gun. As a result, it was not equipped in large quantities and was replaced by 76mm naval guns and 130mm naval guns. Today, O5 for B has been re-equipped with 100mm naval guns. It seems that China has never given up on this caliber of naval guns in these years and has solved the problem. The caliber of the 76mm gun is relatively small, and it is limited in the development of related ammunition types, such as the development of extended range ammunition, guided ammunition, and electronic proximity fuse ammunition. The projectiles are not as powerful as the 100mm naval gun. The 100mm naval gun will greatly enhance the ability to attack coastal targets. There are 32 vertical launchers at the rear of the naval gun but they are not the same 850mm universal vertical launchers that everyone expected as the O5 to D destroyer. It is still equipped with Honky 16 medium and long-range air defense missiles, which is in line with its positioning in the fleet. The farther air defense tasks are undertaken by 055 or O5 to D. However, because the O5 for B uses to four mounted inclined launchers to launch anti-ship missiles, it can carry eight larger diameter and more powerful YJ-12 heavy-duty supersonic anti-ship missiles. The anti-ship firepower is greatly improved compared to the O5 for A, which is only equipped with subsonic anti-ship missiles. Behind the VLS device is a 1130 short-range air defense system. Due to cost considerations, it is not the version with active phased array radar equipped on the Fujian aircraft carrier. Above the hangar is a Honky 10 short-range air defense system with a range of 10 to 12 kilometers. The O5 for B hull is about 147 meters long and 18 meters wide. Its full load displacement can reach 5,500 tons. Compared with the O5 for A, its stealth performance is better. It can carry the Z-20F anti-submarine helicopter. It is also equipped with a new type of towed array sonar, which will serve as the main anti-submarine force of the aircraft carrier formation in the future. With the smooth implementation of the aircraft carrier plan, the Chinese Navy urgently needs ocean-going frigates to escort it. The Type 05 for a frigate, with a maximum speed of only 28 knots, cannot meet the ocean-going needs of the aircraft carrier formation. The Type 05 for B frigate, which has high speed and strong self-sustainability at sea, will be built on a large scale to replace the Type 05 for A and become the next generation backbone of the Chinese Navy's frigates.